Hey guys, it's Mary. Today we're going to talk about genuflection, which is bowing to acknowledge the cross. Um, to genuflect is the verb. It's to lower your body by bending your knees and bowing in worship as a sign of respect. When we genuflect, we make our bodies smaller, which reminds us that although we are smaller than God, God still loves us completely. Next time you watch one of our church services, I want you to pay attention to Father Mike, our lay readers, and some of our choir members, and see the different places during the service where they bow towards the cross. They can do it two different ways. They may simply face the cross and bow, bending their back and their head towards the ground, or they may face the cross and set their right foot behind them, positioning so their toes on the ground or the top of their foot, and then bow and bending their head and coming back. Both are totally fine, and it's a personal preference on which you prefer to do. You may get pencil and paper and mark who does it which ways and how many different times. Another way to think of genuflection is a greeting. When you see someone in your family that you love and you care about, how do you greet them? Do you run to them and hug them or say, hey? Do you give them a kiss on the cheek? There's lots of different ways. When we go to God, we can say hello by doing a genuflection. Um, do it together, practice at home, practice with your family, and practice maybe with Father Mike when you see at church and choose which way you prefer. And remember, that is a way for us to greet God and a way for us to say, Jesus, I know you are here. By doing this, again, we are saying to God that you are bigger than us. And no matter how small, whether that be the size of a child, one of us, no matter our stature, that God loves us. I'm trying to think back at the different times during the services that I bow to the cross. I know when I come into the church and before I go into my pew, at the beginning of the service, I'll always look at the cross and genuflect. I'll also do it as I'm going to communion, when I walk in front of the cross, and when I stand up after communion. What times do you do it? Which times did you see other people doing it during the service? Okay, here's a video of me performing it both ways. Again, like I said, either way is totally fine. Either way is a way to greet God and to remind us that we are smaller than him and he loves us no matter what. Thanks for having me again today and I look forward to seeing you all soon, hopefully in person. Okay, so there's two different options. The first one is simply to bow. The next one is to take your right foot and put it behind you, the top of your foot on the ground, and bend. Both.